Hello everyone, Eric here, and I am doing a little series called Mistakes I've Made So You Do Not Have To. And I am going to talk about the brilliant idea I had about creating a head turn using the Layer Rotate tool. Because with this monkey, there's the whole thing, but we're just worried about the head and I'm just going to do a quick head turn. His head is in this group here. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And, you know, if I were doing a head turn, I would have to, um, if I did all of them individually, it might take a little while. So I thought, why don't I just put them all in that group and uh, go from there? Uh, that will save me a lot of time. So what I've done here, I've created a head turn boom. Okay. and set negative and negative and positive 90 degree uh, bone constraints. What I just did was turn off independent angle temporarily. We do want that on that bone so that the rotation of the head doesn't cause rotation of the uh, head turn and have the head turning when you don't want it to. But independent angle doesn't work well in frame zero sometimes for testing. So I'm just going to turn that off temporarily. With that bone selected, I am going to add an action. And you see already, that's called action one, and the bone is called head turn. They should have the same name, so let's see why. The reason why is I'm on the head folder and not on the bone layer. So whenever the bone, if you do it this way, whenever the bone name and the action name don't add up, stop and see what's wrong. So, there we go. Action name is head turn. I'll just click OK. And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to make sure my default interpolation is set to linear. That means that it's not adding any animation effects to the, to the uh, smart action. Uh, you can do that in your animation outside of the smart action and they won't conflict with one another. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to just Rotate that all the way to the 90. And I'm at 96, which is nice and clear. I can see the line for four seconds. It's a good eyeball thing. So I'll do all my work there. And so here's the brilliant part. I'll go to the head layer, which is a group. And I'll get the rotate layer tool. And I'll just turn his head. Now it looks a little flat. And I can stretch it out a little bit there. Move it just a touch. Let's see how it's looking. That's a bit wide there, so I'll bring it in a bit. This is as good as I'm going to make it. But you know, it's an okay head turn. And so let's come back up to the main line. Go to my bone layer. There we go. There's the head turn working in frame zero. So now that I know it does, I can come back, select that bone, and turn on independent angle. Okay, so here's where it all goes wrong. What's going on with a layer rotation, and I didn't set it very well, well actually I did here, is that the layer is rotating from wherever you set the origin of the layer, which is this little tool, the little plus, and I can click it anywhere, and that's what it's going to rotate around, but I'm going to just put it, I put it right there, so it was rotating uh, where the chin met the neck. And so the layer rotates around that, but if I move my character, you'll notice that hasn't moved with it. The layer is not moving. And so as I move away, it's rotating still around that point. So the further I move it, do you see how bad that's getting right on the edge? Uh, let me zoom in on that. Wow. 
Yeah, see, the further I move it, the worse it gets. And the problem that I had was I wasn't using this to start. So you don't notice the problem until you activate it. <laughs> and I could, you know, and this is a fairly active monkey. He moves around. See, now it's flipping. And I go all the way out here, which is off screen, but still, where'd it go? And I go all the way out here. See, the head's even flipped over the wrong way. And so that is why you don't want to do what I did. And okay, here's the part where we talk about what you should do. Let me just go ahead and kill that action. And I'll make it again. This will take longer, but it will still save you a bit of time. I'm going to go to my um, bone layer. Select that head turn, and I'll create an action. It's called head turn. I'll click OK, and I'm only going to do one part. Go out to 96, rotate that bone, and then let's do the uh, mouth, or let's let's do the head. So instead of the layer, I'm just going to use the um, perspective points tool. Now those don't rotate around an origin. This is just kind of turning them in perspective so they come towards you. You see that one? And it may take a little bit of adjustment, but it just saved me a lot of time. And I can come over and I can do the eyebrows, which is actually that shape for, for the monkey. So again, frame 96, I can rotate them and then move them off to the edge. So there's a lot more to do, but as you can see, I'm starting to get my head turned. And I'm going to have to do each layer individually. And I might want to correct that a little bit. I can do each layer. I have to do each layer individually. But the perspective points tool is going to save me some time. And go back up to the main line. When I move him and turn his head, it doesn't go all weird on me. So I hope you'll forgive me for not making you sit through my entire head turn process. But um, I hope that shows you how you can uh, do a, a head turn fairly easily, but not fall into the trap I did of thinking you were so clever about using the layer rotate. And uh, thanks a lot. And, you know, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Thank you.